Hi, my name's Philip Brown, and I'm the Bearded Math Man. I'd like to help you out with adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers, you know, signed arithmetic. And if you're a teacher and you find this to be a good video, you can read the description below. There's a link where you can download a PowerPoint free. If you're a student, go ahead and get your notes and open your math notebook to a double page kind of like this. On the left, we're going to write our rules about multiplication and division, and on our right, our rules about addition and subtraction. And then you could place like a post-it note or something in there as a bookmark so you can find this for easy reference in the future. So let's get started. The easiest thing is multiplication and division. So let's say we have two numbers. We don't know what they are, we just know that they're not zero, right? If we multiply those two numbers together, we're either going to end up with a positive or we're going to end up with a negative. Now this might be kind of confusing because A and B, the way they're written here, are both positive, but we're going to pretend like we don't have a clue about their signs. But C, if C is positive, if the product, if we multiply two numbers together and our answer is positive, that means A and B were in fact the same exact sign. Whereas if we multiply two numbers together and the answer is negative, well, A and B were different signs. For example, 3 times 4 is positive 12, but so is negative 3 times negative 4. That's also positive 12. It doesn't matter um, how it comes to be, but if they are the same exact sign, the answer is positive. Whereas over here, if the answer is negative, that means the two numbers were different signs. Doesn't matter which one it is, doesn't matter if the bigger one or the smaller one is negative or positive, if they're different, the answer is negative. Now about these parentheses, they're really not serving much of a function right here. They're just keeping the negative four all together. And well, it can come into play if you're doing something with exponents in the future, but really these two things are, well, they're the same. However, if it was written like this, three times negative four, and we got rid of the parentheses here, then it would really say three minus four, and that would no longer be equal to negative 12, of course. Now what about division? Division actually isn't any different because division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So if you're dividing two numbers and you end up with a positive answer, well then your two numbers you were dividing were the same sign. And if you're dividing two numbers and your answer is negative, then your two numbers you started with, they're different signs. That's how it works. For example, uh, 12 divided by four, they're both positive, so the answer is positive. And that's actually the same as 12 times 1 fourth because you remember even if you're dividing by a whole number division is multiplication of the reciprocal you'd put a 1 under the 4 and flip it over and multiply that's how it works now here negative 12 divided by negative 4 you're dividing two numbers they're both negative so your your answer is positive whereas if they're different signs like this right here well then your whole entire answer is negative so works this way as well. It doesn't matter which one is negative, the whole thing is negative. Now, this is a little confusing. Students are often confused by which is negative, the numerator or the denominator. And with just a little bit of questioning, they end up usually saying that, well, three and four are both negative. So let's take a look at that. See, this is not true. This is wrong. Negative three fourths is not negative three divided by negative four. But that's the misconception students often hold. They say, well, the whole thing's negative. The, pop, the top is negative and so is the bottom. Well, let's see why this is wrong. This says negative three over negative four. That's the same as negative three divided by negative four. And we just saw that a negative divided by a negative is positive. And I do not think that positive three fourths and negative three fourths are the same thing. In fact, if we look at a number line, three fourths is a little less than one and negative three fourths, well, it's a little bit more than one. You see, not the same number at all. So negative fractions, the entire number is negative because they're, they're just numbers. So for example, negative three fourths and three divided by negative four, they both equal the same thing. They both equal negative three fourths. All of those are the same. And this negative three divided by negative four, well, that's positive three fourths. And this is completely different than the others. Okay, so the whole number is negative, the entire thing. It's just a rational number. It's a ratio of integers. And well, the number itself is negative. So here's the idea. If the signs are the same and you're multiplying or dividing, the answer is positive. That's it. That means that if they're not the same, then you have the other option. If the numbers aren't the same and you're multiplying or dividing, then your answer is negative. So here's a little practice. Why don't you pause the video and try these, and then I'll go ahead and put the answers up for you in just a second. So go ahead and pause the video, 
give them a shot. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna tell you that at least one of these is wrong. Check your answers, see if you agree or disagree. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm pretty confident this is right because, well, they're the same sign and I know that two times four is eight and I'm pretty confident these are right because they're different signs so it should be negative. Here they're the same sign. Hmm. And here, well, I'm sure the sign is right, but I'm not sure about the rest. And now let's take a look at this. Oh man, we got three numbers. Well, a negative times a negative is positive. That's positive six times four, that's positive 24. And this one, negative times a negative, well, that's positive and that's six. Six times negative four, well, now they're opposite signs. So that would be negative four, that's right. This is the one that students always say is wrong. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see. Negative 2 divided by 4, well that's the same as negative 2 times 1 fourth because division is multiplication of the reciprocal. And now i got to put a 1 under the 2, so that's negative 2 over 1 times 1 over 4. I put all those together get negative 2 over 4 and that does reduce to negative 1 half. We're all smiles and grins, but, but it says right here one of them is wrong. I have to apologize. I'm sorry. This is wrong. I lied to you. I said they're all wrong, but they're... I, I said one was wrong, but they're all right. I did it just to make you reconsider and think more carefully, and I know it's a little bit of a dirty trick. I hope you got them all right. Please forgive me. My objective wasn't to trick you, it was just to get you to think a little bit more deeply, well, about integers. All right, let's move on to addition and subtraction. I've got a list of problems here with the answers, and these are all correct, and let's take a look and see if we can find, like, find out what's happening. So, three and five, both positive, I add them together, I get eight. But three minus five is negative two. Negative three plus five is positive two. Huh, three plus negative five is negative two. Those look like they're the same. Negative three minus five is negative eight. Well, those are both the same sign, just like the first one. And negative three plus negative five, those are really, really similar. And they have the same answer. So let's see if we can make some sense of this. So here's kind of how it works. If the signs are the same, what you do is you just, you just add up the numbers and you keep the sign. We're gonna call that the first rule. So there you go, they're the same sign. Just add them up, keep the sign. And, and then here's another one, negative three minus five, that's negative eight, all right. And then, well, negative three plus negative five, that's the same thing, they're both the same sign. So you just add them up and you, you just keep the sign. Whereas if they're different signs, this gets a little tricky. Hmm. I'm gonna say it as cleanly as I can. It's not entirely mathematically accurate, but what you do is you subtract the two numbers and then you keep the sign of the bigger number. So like five and three, the difference of five and three is two. Five is negative, so you make it negative two. It's actually the absolute value and we could show you on a number line why it works, but the purpose of this video is just to give you some like shortcuts, some things that you can just do because you've already seen all of this. This is, this is review, it's just something that's a little tricky. So let's take a look at this one. Negative three plus five. Well, that's the same as five minus three. You've been doing that forever. Five minus three is two. And if you think about five minus three, well, five's the bigger number, three's a smaller number, and they're different signs. So you subtract them, keep the sign of the bigger number, boom, done. So we're gonna call that rule two, and the rest of these are rule two. But what about that pesky minus a negative? You know, that double negative stuff, like all of this. Oh my goodness, three minus negative five? Well, that turns out to be exactly the same as plus. So this equation here and this one here, they're entirely identical. Same with this one right here. And well, its counterpart is over here on the left. And we have two more. You see that three minus negative, three minus minus negative five. Oh, that is so ugly. But this minus a negative, that's just plus, you see? It's right there. And then this one, the same, exactly. Hmm. So that minus a negative, it becomes a positive. But where does this one fit? I don't see, I don't see that double negative anywhere except for right there. But there's nothing written in front, do you see? But that is a positive three, isn't it? That is a positive three right here because minus a negative does become plus and that's positive even though there's nothing written there. It's not written like this, you see, it's blank. And the reason that is, is if there's no sign in the front, then we just assume it's positive. We don't actually need to write that plus sign at all. Nothing changed. Have the plus there, don't have it there. Nothing's different. Now, you've probably seen this before, addition and subtraction on a number line. But addition, in case you don't remember, 
it's kind of like it's kind of like counting except the first number tells you where you start so the first number three it says you start on three and then five means you count five places but the direction is very important it's a positive five so we're going to go to the right five places you see so that's one two three four and five that's why three plus five is eight whereas three minus five we still start on three but now we are subtracting five so we're going to count to the left five places so we're going to go one two three four five places to the left and that's how you end up on well negative two so all you got to do with a number line if you wanted to sketch one of these to help you make sure you were doing it right like say you were taking a quiz and you just weren't sure all you got to do is sketch a number line and well put a dot on your first number and then count left or right depending on the sign so right you go positive you go right and negative you go left you just go that many and wherever you land that's your answer so if you're adding and subtracting and the signs are the same well you just add the two numbers and you keep that sign whatever it is but if they're different signs you subtract the two numbers it's really the absolute value you just subtract the size of the two numbers you take the difference of the two and you keep the sign of the bigger one and then the old minus a negative thing. Well, negative means opposite. And so it's kind of like playing opposite day when you were a kid and you say, I'm not kidding, but it's opposite day, which means you are kidding. Ugh, it's very confusing. But the opposite of five is negative five. The opposite of the opposite of five would just be five. Hmm, that's really not so pretty, right? Well, here, we're going to try some more problems, right? Well, here, we're going to try some more problems right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So go ahead and pause the video. Give them a shot. When you're done, play the video, and I'll, I'll put the answers up for you again. Okay, so here we go. Now, at least one of these is wrong, and, and last time I lied to you, but this time I'm telling you the truth. This is correct because they're the same sign. You add them up, it's still negative, and this one's correct too, as is this one, and... E is right because negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Minus 3 plus 5, well, that is positive 2. This is negative 2. You add those together, you just get 0. You can even look at it from the middle. 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Whole thing's 0. Hmm. This one is a minus a negative, and that's really tricky. This is negative 5 plus 3, and that is, in fact, negative 2. And this one is exactly the same as F. The one that's wrong is D. Here's what I'd like you to do. Instead of figuring out the right answer, which would be, let's see, negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8, minus 4 is negative 12. This is really negative 12. What I'd like you to do is see if you could figure out where you could add some parentheses so that this whole thing actually equaled 17. Go ahead and think about it for a second. Pause the video if you want some more time and, you know, take a guess, try it out, and see. I'm going to go ahead and put them on there right now. If you put parentheses here and here, then what you would have is these two would multiply together to make positive 20. And positive 20 minus 3 is, in fact, 17. That would be it. This is really important information, and I hope you learned something. If you did, well, you got to practice it, otherwise you're going to forget it. And, well, I'll put a link in the description below for some problems that you can practice, and the answer key will be with it, so you can check to see if you got it right. Hey, if this video was helpful and informative, you could do me a favor and just click like and maybe even subscribe. And if you're a teacher and you would like a PowerPoint that has all of this information, I will put a link in the description below for a free download. And you can download this and share it with your students. Anyway, once again, my name is Philip Brown, and I do hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a great day.